What's up, YouTube? So, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Tony Pollard, uh, rookie running back for the uh, Dallas Cowboys. Uh, before I get into the film, I'm just going to take a look at his stats because he had a really good game. 12 carries for 131 yards and a touchdown. And he also caught a couple passes for uh, 12 yards. So, very good play from him. Um, he finally got the carries that I've been looking for him to get, and it showed. Um, the Rams defense really isn't that great to me, but it just confirms that what I've thought all season about Tony Pollard, if you give him enough snaps, he can really be a benefit to your team. Um, just super fast, super quick, just really good player, and he's actually a lot more powerful than people gave him credit for. So, yeah. Um, I think I uh, did a video about him before the draft. It might have been a joint video with him and the other Memphis running back, Rams, uh, Darrell Henderson. Yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, if I remember, I'll try to put that in the description of this video. So yeah, let me just go ahead and, uh, hit the first play here that I pulled up. This is his first carry of the game. That's actually Zeke in the backfield, but Pollard's going to come around. Dak's just going to pitch it to him. And he's going to show a little bit of that speed. Nothing too crazy there. But uh, definitely some good play design by Dallas. I'll show it from this view. I let go full speed, though. Because they line Pollard out in the slot and then pitch it to him. Because they do that once in a while, but they usually don't actually end up handing it to uh, Pollard. This time they actually did it. So, yeah. That... that that actually brings up a good point I've been meaning to say. Um, I see a lot of fans, like, when a team does the same thing over and over and it doesn't work, and people are always saying, oh, why do you keep doing that play? It doesn't work. It's for that reason exactly. Um, because if I'm watching film, then the other teams are watching film. And they're seeing what Dallas does. They're seeing that sweep. They're not fearing it because they don't actually think they're going to give it to Pollard. But then when they do, it can be it can end up being a really big play. So yeah, just wanted to say that real quick. So let me go ahead and find the next video. Okay, let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm actually gonna let it go full speed so you can see how fast he is. He's got a lot of burst. Like that that's some true speed right there. And not just that, but look at the way he spies this gap. Um, he follows Zach Martin there perfectly. Splices the gap, and he's gone. Fantastic play. Um, I think he's going to be a real real star in the next couple years for sure. Let me go ahead and find the uh, the next one. Okay, so this play didn't go quite as well. Um, it's not really Pollard's fault, though, as you'll see. As you can see there, Aaron Donald is giving Connor Williams some trouble. Uh, he's going to just pretty much eat Connor Williams' food, and he's just going to go get Tony Pollard. Pollard didn't have time to even react to that. He's trying to fight, but no. Not not much you can really do there. Connor Williams just kind of let him down a little bit. And I know Connor Williams gets a lot of shit, but I don't think he's as bad as people make him out to be either. He's not great. Don't get me wrong. But yeah. Anyway, not going to talk about Connor Williams. Let me go ahead and find the next one. Yeah, this is a uh, the next play, and it's another negative yardage play. But again, it's kind of the same result. Aaron Donald's going to put hands on Connor Williams, and he's just going to get right past him. And he's the one that initially wraps him up and pretty much stops this play. He's not the one that ends up making the tackle. It's uh, Brockers that ends up actually tackling Tony Pollard, but it was Aaron Donald that pretty much shut that play down. He made sure that Pollard wasn't going to be able to uh, get to the outside. But honestly, even if he hadn't, there really wasn't too many places to go. He could have possibly like went outside. And tried to go that direction, but actually, no, yeah, yeah, there really wasn't anywhere for him to go. The Rams played this pretty well, 
So, yeah. I'm going to find the next play. Okay. So this is actually a uh, pass play to Tony Pollard. Um, something interesting on the Rams, though. You got Aaron Donald there playing one, which is kind of interesting to me. Uh, I don't really like him in A-gap like that, but, you know, hey. Do your thing. But, uh, yeah, Pollard's going to be wide open. Rams aren't even really guarding him there. And he's going to end up picking up an easy eight yards. Good play. Um, the closer up the zoomed in view. Really doesn't show much of uh, Tony Pollard, so that's why I did the zoomed out one. Let me uh, go ahead and find the... Okay, so they're going to go to this play a second time. Fantastic. You know, bring Pollard around. And Dak's going to pitch it to him. It's the same play that they ran earlier in the game. Pollard's just going to show his explosiveness. He's able to break that tackle. and Man. Mm. And right there, that, that shows you that he does have a little bit of power. Just because he's, he's a... He's kind of quoted as a gadgety guy, but I think he's more than that. He's not like a Tavon Austin. He's not quite as small either. He's about 210-ish pounds. Um, so he's really not that small. And uh, just fast. And he's got more powerful. He's got a lot more power than you think. Actually, at, uh, Memphis, they actually put him in at um, fullback a little bit. So take that as you will. So let me get and find the next one. Dallas really does like these motion plays, which I mean, I get it because it like helps Dak out a lot because this just showed Dak that this is man coverage now because of the way that the uh, safety reacted. Um, he moved over once um, Pollard moved inside. So he's just going to throw it to him, figuring that Pollard could beat the linebacker and he still had leverage to do it. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and find the next one here. Now, this is a look that actually really in, that really intrigues me. I mentioned Tavon Austin before. They've got uh, Pollard lining up here, and then they've got Tavon on the sweep there. That's some speed on that lineup. He ends up giving it to Pollard, but I like that that look. You know, follow his block really well. And picks up some yards. But I'm more interested in that look. If if they actually do end up pitching it to Tavon and Austin at times, that could be very interesting. Let me go ahead and find the next one. Okay. As you can see, another motion play for Dallas. And here's the thing, too. People really underestimate his ability to do this. You can absolutely just run it up the middle with Tony Pollard. And he's so small, he can fit through such tight spaces. It's only a three-yard gain the end of the day but it just shows that you don't have to be afraid of running it up the middle with him he's a lot stronger than you think okay i think this play kind of speaks for itself and i'm just gonna let it go full speed i don't think i need to say anything Oh, man, the balance and elusiveness of Tony Pollard is hilarious to me. The fact that he doesn't go down there, he stiff arms that dude. Oh, man. He's he's such a good player, and they got him for such a steal. They drafted him, what, the sixth, sixth round, seventh round, something like that? I think it was the sixth. 
That's such a steal. I, I know that he got overshadowed because Memphis had two other running backs that were pretty good. Uh, Darrell Henderson, who actually got drafted by the Rams, and then another guy who's still at Memphis. I'm blanking out on his name right now. Let me know in the comments. But, yeah. Um, let me go ahead and find the next one. All right. So, uh, yeah. Let's go full screen here. He, I, th this just shows off his vision here. Um, he can see that they're starting to lose their blocks here on that left side, so he's going to cut right and try to get through this gap. Um, he doesn't end up getting there, but it is the right decision. It's really the only decision he could have made. Um, yeah. Connor Williams was kind of getting his ass kicked again, so he kind of had to run to the right. He didn't want to run into Aaron Donald again, so yeah. Okay. This is uh, no gameplay. I'm just going to let it go full speed. There's just nowhere for him to go. All of his uh, running lanes are blocked, so not really anywhere he can go. It was just a good play from the Rams, so can't can't really beat that. Again. This here is another uh, short gain. He only gets about two yards. And also, it's interesting that they got Cooper Rush in. I guess they figured they are to beat the Rams, so they may as well put in Cooper Rush. But, yeah. Not really anywhere to go. Um, not a whole lot to say on that one, honestly. Let me go ahead and find the next one here. Okay, so this here is actually the very next play. And uh, it's actually the last play I'm going to show you guys because it's the last carry he gets. Um, but it, it's it's a fantastic one. I'm going to go ahead and slow it down. And then I'll show it from the uh, other view as well so you can really sh see his speed. He's following his blocks absolutely perfectly. He sees that uh, the tight end is going to get this dude here, so he's just going to go right up the gap. You can't arm tackle Tony Pollard. You just can't. And then from here, he's got the sideline. Just 44 yards for a touchdown. Nothing more you can do. No one can catch him. Um, it accidentally went to the next play. Let me get it and pull it back up because I, I do want to show it from the other angle because that will show off his speed even more. Right here. Once he hits that sideline, he is just gone. He is so much faster than everyone else on that field. The only player on either team that can compete with his speed is Tavon Austin. He's also a Cowboy, so not much you can really do there. Uh, but, yeah. Um, like I said before, I think I made a video about him before the draft. I think, if so, I'll try to put it in the description of this video. Um, it might have been a, um, I might have combined it with Darrell Henderson. It might have been a, might have done a video on both of them at the same time. So anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video. If you liked it, I'd appreciate you hitting that like button. If you have any questions or comments, even the comments down below, subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.